Hello dear friends, finding square root through long division method, it takes quite a while and most of the students feel uncomfortable while finding the square root through long division method. So we need to have an alternative method, particularly for numbers which are as large as these numbers which I have written on the board, 9 examples. These are all numbers of 5 digits. And this is part one of this video in which I am demonstrating this method. The numbers which I have taken start from uh, 10,000 onwards and uh, up to 40,000 you can take any number and find the square root virtually in 5 seconds. That's it. 5 seconds time and that too very very accurately. So this is part one of the series of two videos on finding the square root of five digit numbers and in this part one I am taking numbers from 10,000 to 40,000. So up to 40,000 any number of five digits you can find the square root using this amazing shortcut which I am going to demonstrate using these nine examples. Friends let me tell you one thing when you see all these tricks you know, it is very easy to see and admire the tricks, but if you want to master them, you need to practice a lot. Take 30, 40 such examples and then give it a practice session. Only then you will be able to solve it in 5 to 6 seconds. So many of my uh, friends and subscribers on the channel, they uh, ask me, sir, for a 5 second trick, you have taken 10 minutes to explain. Yes, explanation does take time and practice takes even more time. But why do we practice? We practice in order to reduce the amount of time we are taking to solve a problem accurately. So speed needs practice. So kindly take this as an advice. Whichever video you are watching, give it practice sessions, give it time, only then it will give you the desired output. So let's see this trick. First of all, I am taking 12996. Now see, I will divide this number into two parts, first three digits and the last two digits. The last two digits are 96. The number is ending with 6. Whenever a number ends with 6, the square root of that number ends with two possible digits and those two digits are either it is a 4 or it is a 6 and we will have some number in front of this. So the number that means the square root of 12996 will either end with 4 or end with 6. Why? It is because the square of 4 is 16 which ends with 6 and the square of 6 is 36 which again ends with 6. So you need to be well aware of this fact. So we will have two possible answers and what is the remaining part of the answer? The remaining part of the answer fortunately will be same in both the cases. So we will have only two options out of which we have to choose one to get the correct answer. What is the other part? Now see the triplet 129. 129 just find a perfect square which is just below 1 to 9 and you will be able to find that only if you are aware of square numbers from 11 to 20. What is 11 square? 11 square is 121 but 12 square it crosses 129. So which is the perfect square below 129? It is 11 square 121. So 11 is the remaining part of the answer. So our answer is either 114 or 116. So how much time you are going to take to guess these two? I think 3 to 4 seconds and in the next step you will have your answer. We will have to choose between 114 and 116. For that you need to know one more concept of squaring which I have posted already on the channel. Very famous trick of finding the squares of number ending with 5. So 114 and 116, in between this we have 115 
always take the middle number ending with 5 whatever options you get take the number ending with 5 which lies between the two numbers i'll demonstrate it here also 115 square now how do you find 115 square orally so this method which i am demonstrating is actually a 3 in 1 trick this is yet another shortcut just forget 5 what number is there here 11 multiply 11 by its successor 11 into 12 12 into 11 time 11 times if you do 12 into 11 it will uh, be 132 so 132 and end the answer with 25 you get the square of 150 very very easy method you just need to know the table of 12 11 multiplied by its consecutive 12 11 to 12 is 132 and whenever the number ends with 5 the square ends with 25 so the square of 115 is 13225 and now we will have our answer just observe this number 12996 and this number 13225 this number is smaller than 13225 and if this number is smaller than this our answer is above this arrow so 114 is our answer suppose this number would have been more than 13225 then our answer would have been below the arrow so only one possible answer 114 Pick up your calculators and check 114 multiplied by 114 is equal to you will get the answer 12996. So at first it might look little bit lengthy but subsequent examples you are going to feel very very comfortable. Let's see 16129. Now see 161 and 29. Now it is ending with 9 so our answer will end with either 3 because 3 into 3 is 9 or 7 because 7 into 7 is 49 ending with 9 now what is the next balance part 161 what is the perfect square below 161 it is 12 square 144 because 13 square is 169 which is above 161 so 12 square means 12 is the remaining part so either our answer is 123 or 127 and what is the intermediate number it is 125 how do you square this 12 into 13 now you need to multiply 12 by 13 13 into 12 is 156 and follow it by 25 compare these two numbers 16129 is greater than this so our answer is below the arrow that is 127 what this method and i am sure you are going to feel comfortable by this method very very soon let's see the third example here we have the number ending with 4. So our answer will either end with 2 because 2 into 2 is 4 or our answer will end with 8 because 8 into 8 is 64 which ends with 4. What is the balance number? 174. So 13 square is 169 but 14 square is more than 174. So 13 is the remaining part. So our answer either it is 132 or 138. Now take the intermediate number 135. You need to multiply 13 by its successor 14. 14 is a 42. So 14 was a 14, 182, and you have 25. Now observe this number. It is smaller than this. So our answer is the smaller one that is above the arrow. So 132 is the square root of 17424. Isn't it amazing? Little bit of practice is required to master this. Let's see more examples. Now see ending with 5, very comfortable here because in case of numbers ending with 5, we have only one option that is 5 itself. But in other digits, we have two options. So here we have only one option, so our answer will come out directly. 210, which is the perfect square below 210, it is 14 square 196 because 14 square is 196 and 15 square is above that 225 so we have to take the smaller one so 14 is the balance part thereby giving you the answer 145 only one option in this case so all numbers ending with 5 5 digit numbers the square root can be found out virtually orally let's see another one ending with 9 again so just like here 
answer will end with either 3 or 7 234 now we need to check 14 square is okay 15 square is 225 which is just below this so 15 is the remaining part now take the intermediate number 155 square so 15 multiplied by its successor 16 16 by the 80 so this is 240 so 240 followed by 25 now observe that this number is smaller than this so our answer is the smaller one 153 let's see more examples 56 so just like this question this is ending with 6 so our answer will either end with uh, 4 or end with 6 275 we have already taken 15 square as 256 do you know what is 16 square this is Okay, uh, 17 square is 289, this is above 275, so it has to be 16, 256. So 16 is the remaining part, so either the answer is 164 or the answer is 166. Take the intermediate number 165 square, 16 multiplied by its successor 17, 17 into 6 is 102, 17, 27, so 272 and follow it by 25. And now look at this number, this is greater than this, so our answer is the greater one that is below the arrow 166. Three more examples, this number is ending with 4, so the answer will end with 2 or it will end with 8. Now we have already done up to 16 square, 17 square is 289, 18 square is 324. So 324 is greater, so we have to take 17 square, so 17 is the remaining part. Take the intermediate number 175 square, so you have to multiply 17 by its successor 18, 8 7 is 56, 8 plus, 8 plus 7 15 plus 5 20, 306, so 306 and 25. Now compare these two numbers, this is greater. So our answer is the greater one that is below the arrow 178. Let's have the next one ending with 1. When it ends with 1, our answer either ends with 1 or ends with 9 because 1 into 1 is 1, 9 into 9 is 81 ending with 1. Now 327, we, I already told you 18 square is 324. It is just below 327 so it has to be 18 here. So answer is either 181 or 189, take the intermediate number 185. How do you find the square of 185? Multiply 18 by 19. So 9 is the 72. 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 7 24. 342 and then ending with 25. Compare these two numbers, this is smaller. So our answer is the smaller one, 181. Last one, ending with 9. So if it ends with 9, answer will end either with 3 or the answer will end either with 7. Now see this number 372, 19 square is 361, so it has to be 19 here. So either the answer is 193 or 197, take the intermediate number 195 square, 19 into 20 is 380, follow it by 25. Compare these two, this is smaller, so our answer has to be smaller, that is 193. Friends, just watch how this trick is working for all numbers up to 40,000. Be beyond 40,000, you need to be aware of the squares of numbers from 21. That is, see, I am taking squares of 17, 18, here I have taken, taken the squares of numbers up to 19. So for if you go beyond 40,000, then the squares of numbers from 20, 21, 22 up to 29 are required to solve for the numbers. So that I will take up in part 2 of this video. Till then practice this and I am sure this method will prove very very beneficial to everybody preparing for competitions. So if you like this video, do share it with all your friends who are preparing for competitions and especially with junior students for building up the interest in mathematics and if you like this video do share it and do not forget to subscribe the channel.